Next person I'm going to bring up is a actually very cool guy, someone I consider a friend and great colleague in this dental world that we all work in. And that is Jamie the Beast of Day One. Jamie, how are you? My good luck charm, Jamie. I am doing very well. You're not putting a whole lot of pressure on me not or at anything all. like that. Not, not at, at all. all. Well, I'll be sure to watch the game on Monday evening. So uh, I'll, at least at, at least I'll, I'll be able to have you live streaming it while I'm watching it or live commenting as well. I'm watching it as well. I love that, Jamie. For those who don't know what we're talking about, uh, those who know me know I am a diehard, crazy, insane Eagles fan. And uh, Jamie DeBeast, who lives in the Philadelphia area as well, is my good luck charm because every time he watches a game, we win. So obviously he watches a lot of games. So I want him to keep that up. So uh, no offense to my fans of other teams, but, you know, we, we love our Eagles here. So, Jamie, tell me, and, I, and I'm sure a lot of people by now know who you are. I know you've helped so many people in our group, but tell me about day one, what you do, why dentists love it, what you've been able to accomplish making dentist lives either less stressful or more productive. So we're a dental marketing agency. We focus on creating a comprehensive marketing strategy uh, that's customized for each one of our dental clients. And depending upon that strategy and the types of ideal patients that they're looking for, it can include a website design, a website refresh, search engine optimization, Google ads, social media management, uh, online listings, uh, responding to reviews, uh, yep. We're even into designing collateral material for clients for internal marketing purposes. So it's it really starts with the strategy and the types of patients that they want to have most. And then from that, we build out what types of services make the most sense for that particular practice. You know, one of the things that I like about you is that you have such a boutique approach um, to what you do. And, you know, marketing is different for everyone. You know, there's so many factors that come into play into what type of marketing you need and what kind of marketing will be most effective for your particular business or your particular dental office and the time that it will take. Tell me something that you feel like dentists may be mistaken about when it comes to marketing that you've been able to help them with or educate them with um, since you've been working with dentists. The, the one area that I'd love for dentists to, to, to really, and, and again, it's not all, but the biggest concern that we often have is instantaneous gratification. Uh, and, and this is a real challenge, especially for startups or even practices that are well established that really haven't done any marketing. There is a season of time and it can take I mean, it can take six months. It could even take a right. year right. of building a very solid digital footprint. Uh, there are advertising ways to get near instant results in a few weeks to a few months. But oftentimes people will contact us and they're horizon or expectations for having new patients come in is a few weeks to a month. That's possible, but often not a very realistic goal. And so one of the right. things that I would say is if you are a practice that is looking to do marketing and not just do some sort of campaign that's seasonal, then, then you're, you're looking at it as months at a time, not necessarily weeks at a time. So we really want our, our clients, and we spend a lot of time educating them on expectations of when they should start seeing patients coming in. It's, uh, you know, the analogy that I often like to use is if you come in with a patient that is a significant amount of dental work, and they come to you and say, Doc, I need you today in the next couple hours to make it look like I've got brand new teeth. Right. Okay, there, there's a possibility of that, but the likelihood of that is is not always a realistic expectation. It's something that will take time. And then even after that, you know, it took the person long to get to that stage. It sometimes will take months to get a practice to the point where they are now visible in search results and people are starting to contact them. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. It might be tough, but you're Jamie, so everything's easy for you. But what's one thing, <laughs> because, you know, there's your role as the, the marketer and marketing consultant and marketing agency, so, you know, get people to notice the practice and get the phone to ring, right? Get all that, right? But what's one thing that you feel like dentists and dental offices need to do better at in order to help the marketer uh, do their job? Kind of like a help me to help you thing. What's one thing that you think many dentists maybe don't automatically do that maybe you've been able to help them with? And that's why you've gotten such great results for your clients. The client, the, the dentists that we work with that are engaged in their marketing are the ones that are going to have the most success. And that engagement looks like curiosity 
uh, why asking good questions. Why is this working? Why is this not working? But that not only asking those questions, but that engagement also looks like uh, sending us photos, including videos, updating us on right. what's going on in the office, not only with the office personnel, but updating us with new patients coming in. A, a lot of our practices are not are, do not have the technology, the software that they are sophisticated enough to track leads that come in from the referral source and not referral right. like other practice. Did it come from Google? Did it come from social media? Even when they ask those questions, there's multi multi factor touch points. You know, somebody can get a re, uh, get a referral from a friend, but they check the reviews out online. They want to see what the practice looks like. They call you from the website, but then when they come in and say, "Where'd you hear about us?" they'll say Google. Uh, right. And so, those types of pieces of information, I would love for the additional. So you mean they don't say my main man Jamie told me to come to this office? They don't. They don't say that. No. Uh, you know, I haven't had too many people say that. But if that if that was a category, um, it probably wouldn't be a big, huge ROI. But with the practices that are engaged uh, by reaching out to us and really viewing us as a genuine partner have the most success because we get that feedback. And then we can act upon that in, 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 a, in a pretty quick fashion. Practices that just kind of hand off marketing to us, we don't hear from them. They don't send us any information. We don't know how things are going on other than, you know, kind of a, a, in passing. Those are the ones that we are less likely to see the best results from. Got it. That's such a good point. I really appreciate you answering that that way. Everybody, we're talking to Jamie DeBees, the founder of Day One. To get more information about Day One and what they can do with Jamie and his team, or uh, please just text the word Day One with the actual numeral, numeral one, so that's D-A-Y-1, to 215-543-6454. Once again, the Dental Nachos team is putting information like this in the chat about reaching out to Jamie. Jamie, before I let you go, what's one piece of advice that you'd like to give the audience or one thing they could do today to help themselves out? And, and how do they reach you? Directly. Absolutely. Uh, the one thing that this has just come up last week, we're starting to do strategic planning and discussions with our clients for 2024. And it came up quite a few times last week. Uh, it was the fact that we have unburdened and helped so many dentists knowing that their marketing is being taken care of. Uh, it has freed them up to do so many other things. So the one thing I would say is if marketing is a burden for you, takes up a lot of your time, I'd be happy to talk with you about it. The best way to reach out to us is to schedule an initial consultation at my website. It's dental marketing from day one uh, dot com. And then you can reach out to me. Those scheduling appointments come directly to me. Awesome, Jamie. Always a pleasure. The, uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be contacting you probably Monday before the game starts to make sure you're in position uh, to do your job for that there. But uh, so great having you on Talking Nostros as always. Talk to you Appreciate again. Appreciate it. Thanks.